Okay, so here is my polar alignment. Pretty good. So this is how I have everything connected. Uh, I may be wrong here. There's not a lot of information on exactly how to connect it. And Terry's focal reducer at the OTA spacer, the OAG with the guy camera spacers, and the uh, Canon. So I've done this numerous times since I got my new Mead mount back. I got a new mount and a brand new hand controller. Uh, so it's doing exactly the same thing as it was before. This was a 120 second exposure after a perfect polar alignment and I get elongated stars. Here's another guiding session from that night. I restarted the telescope, redid the polar alignment with the similar accuracy results. And it just started just acting very oddly, it was losing a star constantly. Very bad tracking. I mean, you know, we're talking about over 10.0 total most of the time. Another typical guiding session. The recording is not great. There's a lot of skips in it. I was using the built-in screen record feature. So I've tried everything I know how to do. Leveling, polar alignment with the ASI Air, polar alignment with the telescope. I've tried turning the PEC on and the telescope or not turning it on. Uh, I just I just don't know what else to do at this point. Since the telescope was replaced, I kind of doubt that it was the telescope, and it's probably the ASI Air or the camera or something in the train. Possibly I don't have the the spacing set up properly, uh, but I do have focus, fairly good focus on the stars on the camera and on the the guide cam. So any help, I'd appreciate it because I don't know what else to do at this moment of time. Thank you so much in advance.